The SMS Advanced Desktop software includes several visualization tools that will allow you to better evaluate your fields, as well as analysis tools that can help you identify yield impacting factors within your fields, which will be especially helpful when evaluating what tile installation plans will work best with the terrain of your fields. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the advanced visualization tools, including 3D mapping, topography maps, and elevation profile views when working with tile datasets. We will also cover how to download soil survey data, import LIDAR data, and generate terrain analysis datasets. Before utilizing any of the enhanced visualization options in SMS Advanced, you need to generate a 3D grid based on high-quality GPS data. AgLeader recommends using RTK data when regenerating 3D grids. An ideal operation to use for this is the field survey operation, which is data collected in the topo mode with the AgLeader Integra and Versa displays. You can regenerate 3D grids on a field-by-field -field basis by right-clicking on the operation in the management tree that you wish to base your 3D grid on, or the elevation profile, and choosing to regenerate the 3D grid. You can perform this for several fields at once by using the batch command utility. Having a quality 3D grid will ensure that all 3D and topo maps and terrain analysis datasets will represent your fields as accurately as possible. After the 3D grid has been generated, it is a good idea to view the field with a 3D terrain view to make sure the field surface is accurately represented. If needed, you can adjust the scale of the terrain by going to the Edit Map Options and on the 3D Grid tab, adjusting the Z-axis. Several other tools are there as well to help visualize the field surface, including the ability to adjust the background color and surface texture quality. You can also choose to show shaded relief, which will allow you to adjust the angle that light is hitting your field, making it easier to visualize changes in terrain. If you have unusually high peaks, valleys, or skips, this can indicate that your GPS data needs to be filtered or redriven. If you have interior boundaries, such as grass waterways or terraces, that you would like to include as part of the tile plan, you may need to create a temporary boundary that includes these areas of the fields, then reset the farmable boundary for section control when complete. Now that the 3D grid is accurate, we can begin looking at the other visualization types in the SMS Advanced software. Click OK after making all desired changes, and the 3D map in the mapping window will update with the changes. In addition to the zoom tools, you can also rotate 3D maps on the axes, allowing you to view your field from all different angles. To return to a two-dimensional map, click the Show Hide 3D View button again. Another visualization tool in SMS Advanced is the ability to view surface contours on your map. With any map created and the 3D grid for the field established, open the Edit Map Options dialog and click on the Surface Contours dialog. You can choose to display primary contours, secondary contours, or both. In addition to viewing the contours, you have complete control over line interval and size, colors of each line, and if you wish to have labels displayed. The third advanced visualization tool you have available is to turn on directional arrows on any map that has at least one attribute recorded in degrees. With a map created, go to the Edit Layer Options tool and click on the Directional Arrows tab. Check to show directional arrows and then based on the mapped layer, you will be able to select what attribute you would like to show arrows for using the drop down. You can adjust the look of the arrows using the size, spacing, and colors. For terrain analysis data sets, you will be able to show arrows based on flow and gradient direction. Flow direction will show the direction that the slopes will direct water, allowing you to see where water will concentrate in your fields. For as applied in harvest data sets, track will be available. Directional arrows will show in 2D and 3D mapping windows. When viewing tile data sets, either installed tile or tile plans, 
After selecting a tile run, the elevation profile will provide you with the default view of the entire tile run. But you can zoom in to a user-defined area of the run by clicking the Zoom button in the profile window and manually highlighting an area to zoom into. When zoomed in, the statistics on the right will update. You can toggle back and forth between the entire run and the area you selected to zoom into by clicking the Zoom tool again. When viewing the entire run, the area that you selected to zoom into will be highlighted so that it is easier to determine the area that has been selected. When a tile run is selected that serves as a connection to another run, the elevation profile window will display the connection locations as black dots. So when viewing the profile of a main that has laterals connected to it, you can easily tell if the tile plan will have proper water flow depending on the location of the laterals to the target installation depth of the main. For auto tile installations, the green line will represent the bottom of the trench where the tile has been installed. The black line will represent the soil surface. So as long as the connections are above the green line, they should flow correctly. In addition to the many advanced visualization options available to you, you can also import and create other data types that will assist you when planning your tile installation. Version 13 of SMS supports importing LiDAR files. LiDAR files are high-resolution elevation maps that are very accurate, making them an ideal data set to base a 3D grid on for generating terrain analysis data sets. LiDAR files are typically free to the public and each state houses their files in a different database. SMS also includes an automatic download of soil survey maps for all customers that reside in the United States and have an internet connection. Downloading soil survey data sets will provide you with soil characteristics, drainage and erodibility indices, and hydraulic conductivity and water table details, which can be included in analyses and used as a reference layer in the tile plan editor. While the terrain analysis has been available to SMS Advanced users for some time, the usability of the generated data sets became much greater for our users designing tile plans in the software. By generating a valid 3D grid, you can create a terrain analysis data set for a single field or across multiple fields at once. When saved to the tree, the data set will display data such as slope, flow and gradient direction, drainage area, wetness potential, and other elevation-based attributes that can greatly assist you when evaluating your tile installation options. Other layers that you may find useful are in showing where tile is needed can be imagery that can be downloaded from the internet. Many users have also found that the harvest data from year to year can also be helpful in highlighting the areas of the field that would benefit from additional drainage. Yield and moisture layers can help show where crops mature differently depending on the drainage of the field. You have now learned how to view 3D and topography maps, display directional arrows, view elevation profile information, and create and import new data sets to use when planning tile installation locations. By using a combination of the advanced visualization options and the wide range of data types that can be imported or created in the SMS software, you can create tile plans with all needed field details at your disposal. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.